is this disease so common? Well, it is common because, actually, let me tell you something, Kari, this is very important. I think it's more common than where really we have documented. Wow. We have documented about 12 million people affected in the U.S. with wow. COPD, but we're thinking there's actually probably double than that. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons is because sometimes we don't, we don't follow the symptoms, we don't, we don't do the adequate diagnosis for this disease. It is common because the reason why COPD happens is a very common uh, uh, condition as well. I know what you're going to say. Yes, and that's smoking. Right. And unfortunately, smoking continues being very prevalent among, among our population in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, and it's actually even more prevalent elsewhere in the world. Right. So in some countries, they have as much as 50% of the population being a smoker. We are, we are lucky, or we'll say we, we did a good job as far as smoking cessation programs mm -hmm. in, in the last two decades, and we are down at about probably close to the 20% of the population is a smoker. But that means one out of five people that we see on the streets every day are the smokers. So that's a lot to me. And that means a lot of people with COPD. Totally, because COPD is, is mostly caused by smoking. Right. And uh, if you think about the 10 most common reasons why COPD happens, uh, number one will be a smoking, number two will be a smoking, number three will be a smoking, and I can continue on that for a while. Yes, so. and we actually do have a graphic that shows us what some of those causes are in COPD and what's number one on there? Smoking. S smoking, totally. Smoking. And, 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 and I, want, I want also to make people aware that smoking, when we talk about smoking here, we don't say necessarily first-hand smoking. It's very important to also recognize that second half Second-hand smoking, so exposure to smoking is a significant problem, mm -hmm. and, and that's why we have laws that protect people on their work environment not to be exposed to smoking. And we passed those laws uh, about a decade ago in, in Florida, and, and we try to protect people, especially children, about the effects of smoking.